let me show you something that's a classic from the 1950s and 60s. Don Herbert, the original Mr. Wizard, had this in his kitchen chemistry book. And so he used baby bottles. All right, so here's your baby bottle. Oh, put on your safety glasses. Read oh. a little safe science. Uh oh. <sighs> this is always a harbinger of bad things <laughs> you're, to come. You're in a nice suit today, so that's suit. good, all right? All right, so here's what you're going to do. Oh, and they would always take Alka-Seltzer. So I've uh, taken the liberty of opening a, your Alka-Seltzer. So take two Alka-Seltzers. Two Alka-Seltzers. And now here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop the Alka-Seltzers into the thing, and then we're going to put the um, the cap on. So get okay. ready to screw on the cap. Ready? Right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Drop it in. Nice job. And we just kind of seal it up. Good job. Now hold on to it, Mark, because Sissy's just put it on the table, right? So okay. just hang on to it. Now here's what was different about this. Back in 1952, you could buy a baby bottle top without the hole on it. And so you kind of see a little bit, see how it's, oh! it's there you go. <laughs> oh, see how it starts to grow? Oh, sure. Is that oh, beautiful? That. that is a beautiful thing. Now, this is a great example, and Don Herbert shared with me many years ago. This is a great example of the G Wiz overtaking the content. This is a really cool demonstration to do, but it's not a science project. Oh, it's yeah. real cool. I mean, oh. but it's really well, unusual for kids, right. too, uh, because kids today have no idea what a baby bottle nipple is without the hole. You know oh, what I mean? Right, Back sure. in 19 right. and 50s and 60s, they were common. We had to work did with. Did moms have to make their own hole in the nipple? Yes, then? I, I guess I so. Had yeah. No idea. So kind of put it in there and, and did that. So cool activity, but not a science fair project. All right. right? Okay. Uh, all right. So let's do this. Uh, here, twist this and and make it come down. You shouldn't get that wet. Nice. <laughs> all right. All right. So now Julie takes us to the next level because she taught kindergarten. So take us to the next level of what you could do with the G Wiz and the pop, but actually do a project with it. Right. Because if we're doing something with the baby bottle, there's no comparison there. Um, there's not much content there. It's a big wow factor. Um, partnering on that same idea, we can add the Alka-Seltzer to, say, film canisters. This one is just about full, half full, and about a quarter Is that full. all water in there again? Yeah. It's oh. just plain water. Okay. And now we have something that we can compare. Oh, I see. Okay. So we've ah, focused right. in on one activity. We keep everything else the same. I see. All right, okay. so let's divide it up. Ready? I'm going to take the one with very little because okay. I'm smart. Okay, I'll take right? one with a lot. Yes, middle good. gets the middle. And now we each okay. take one. So let's each take one. one of these. Okay. Got it? All right. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. All, the only variable is the amount of water. Okay. All right, so I'm controlling everything. We drop it down inside, put the lid on top, and then just stand back. Ready? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Drop it in. Nice job. Good. Put it on. There you go. Push it on tight there, Mr. Kobrick. Nice job. Got it. Oh, and he bags back up. And he bags see, away. See, there's no problem. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, that's one. Oh. See, now, now, notice that they're a little bit different in timing. Oh. Oh. So, from the, well, we just took out a $1,000 light, I think. So, so, notice, now, there's comparison there. If the stopwatch was going, you would see the comparison. Sure. The one with the most happened first. We dropped them all at the same time. There's data now. Not a bad way to do it.